Uh, good afternoon. It's approximately 20 minutes to 2. Uh, I apologize for being, well, telling you, you know, the war stuff. It was sort of a little like uh, Orson Welles, if you remember him in the past. He's so very good at that. I, I would like to emulate him. As I get older, and when I had a proper a speech, I think I would have loved to have been a com comedian. I think I would have been really good at that. Uh, now I have a, some notes here of stuff I was going to do, but I can't, I, 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 I didn't have that time to put them in exactly in order. Um, well, I will move that down a little, something like that. No, 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 no a, a little. Um, some, uh, I'm, like I mentioned, there, there is this, and, um, I, 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 I just can't find my more comprehensive notes about, uh, you know, this, this news show that was supposed to be not yesterday, but, you know, well, should have been yesterday, in fact. One is that, that I am not a racist. I really am, and because I was gonna get, I'm get, was going to get into something, I want to say right up, um, I'm not a racist, nor am I. Certainly try not to be a bigot. There's so many foul little, little creeps around. It's it's hard to. Mm. Um, and that China is a communist nation, and the uh, leader, uh, the president of uh, China, is um, a dictator. These are very important points, you know. Uh, I go on to a number of things. Um, um, how many are dead and so on. Um, and I'm coming to a, a point that I wanted to make. And it's, um, and I do think I have the figures right here. So I'm safe now. Um, I go on and on and on. Uh, and something on the side here, uh, most uh, obnoxious and bother a lot of obnoxious, uh, are fearful and um, uh, fellow uh, falling mask loops. Oh, those little loops things. One of the things I was going to mention about a guy who's uh, this is Fairview Mall. And I was getting into my car, and uh, this w fellow was walking towards the front doors of Fairview Mall. And he went to put his mask on, and the little loops, I did my research, they called loops, cracked away. Uh, it just, just did not function, it just snapped the way the word I'm looking for. And his comment was something like, um, they give us um, COVID, and at the same time, they, sent, they sell to us products of inferior uh, uh, quality. And that's entirely true. Never buy Chinese clothes. They will last a day and a half. It's just at a cheaper um, rate, but it's silly. What else did I want on the thing is, I know something, 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 and, um, yeah, kind of, yeah. The point I was going to make in my newspaper, n my news story that didn't come about, is kind of, makes us all look rather strange. Now, um, below me, I have, um, um, <laughs> other than the commercial, um, goes um, the number of cases who do, um, who currently uh, have died, uh, actually ex expired, is uh, 3,212,704. Um, those who have recovered is 130,640,562. Uh, this is kind of interesting in a way, and I ho hope I get to it because oh, I found it. So this my my story was to be around about this, and 
undoubtedly there's going to be a war anyway. You just not, you don't really have to be um, you know, predict anything. That's almost inevitable. But what is funny, what is odd, what is peculiar, and, and it should not um, should not happen. One second. See, I really do like warming. The USA, at this date, I think it is this date, the USA have lost 590,000 590, uh, total deaths. Here it is, it is total. 590,000. 759 have died. It's a huge number. This should not have happened. You do realize. India's getting up there too with the um, death rate uh, is 218,595. Brazil is much higher they are rating it by total cases, um, but um, I'm using total deaths. This is important. Uh, Brazil is 406, 100,565. Uh, France, it's surprising, it's 104,000 Americans have died and so on. Uh, Russians, of course, also are communists and they, well, kind of semi-communists or God knows what they are, are, are anyway. Um, death rate is 110,000 so on. It's much higher. For many of these countries it's higher. The UK is probably quite accurate, uh, 127,538. But is re what is really fascinating, what is truly fascinating and God knows this alone could be a war. If you go down, you keep going down and down and down, even past you know, Sweden, whose death rate is 14,000. And of course, the Swedes, they were so wonderful. And you know, it made such a big mistake, you know. Um, so we go and down, down. It's surprising. I would trust Japan. They were um, quite accurate, uh, and their death rate is ten thousand. But they keep going down and down and down and down. I say, you know, I'm losing him. I cannot find him. So down and down and down and down. Maybe I'll have to go up, 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 up. I'm looking for China's death rate. I know it's so small. Ah, uh, here it is. It's number 96 in the list. And the only, the, the only, of all of China, who have a billion plus number of living souls. It's only 4,636. Don't you find that kind of odd? The whole thing started in China. Um, a bat who decided to, well, I guess it is, bite something like a human or uh, to, of something um, that would continue and would um, pass it along to a human. I think this is, um, this is rather fascinating how the Chinese can only lose 4,000 and some odd people and the United States to get to this again is such a large figure. I mean huge fa figure it is almost 600,000. I think about 560, 100,000 who died, and there's like 
4,000. And these are those who started. There's something wrong here. There's something really seriously wrong here. And my fear is once um, things have, have happened and COVID-19 has, you know, in control, um, suddenly there's going to be another bat in China who will beat, who will um, 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 chew or whatever a bat does um, to another human. And then we'll all start again. I can't, uh, this is, to me, honest to God, this is this whole episode going on two years is like living in an uh, episode of the Twilight Zone. This is it. My life is like living in a um, uh, show such as that. So um, I'm going to close now. That was the point I was going to make is the difference between China and the United States and European nations. Uh, Canada is, uh, is sort of really sh shaky. Uh, or originally, they, um, it was predicted that there would only be five to 15,000 who lost their souls. And I think it's up to, I don't know, I don't want to get into trouble here. So uh, Canada, it's... Uh, Approximately total deaths twenty four thousand plus. So one day, wow! I don't know what to say. Uh, I do know something will be a consequence. Uh, there will be a, um, a response to all of this. And um, I think Americans, Americans and Europeans should be really pissed off about this. And I think collectively, and I'm just trying to give you the solution to this, the demand is that for all non-Chinese, pay China, oh, um, charge Chinese X number of American dollars to equal the enormous difficulties we and the rest of the world. So I s would su suggest to the new president, who if he's he okay, he gets all the the uh, population other than Chinese, and um, we bankrupt China. I think I think that so. Sort of that should, should happen like that. So I'm sorry about the, the frightening um, others yesterday or two days ago about the, the war. But, you know, sad, sadly to say one day there is going to be a war. And we sort of know how it's going to begin. Um, it's going to be China and, uh, and uh, probably the United States. And uh, um, it would be China uh, acquiring more and more and more. And the United States and Europe will have to step in, step into it, and stop it, which inevitably would be a nuclear war. Uh, and uh, actually, I do think that's how it's going to happen. So once again, I apologize for not doing my n news revelation yesterday, but I sort of have uh, done it tonight. So thank you for listening. Ciao.